Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And we're in the middle of a process here, but basically this is the elevator off of a Tiger that had a little bit of play in the torque tube down here. So what we've done is we took it all apart. They had already done the service kit 144 on it, but they hadn't put enough sealant. So we took it all off, cleaned all the old sealant off, put it back on with new high saw, and now what we're doing is we're putting the rivets in and we're putting the rivets in wet into the four holes to actually hold all this together and now we're going to pop rivet that so stand by for just a second a little bit there you go. all right now we're going to pull this rivet we put the rivet in wet we dipped it into our pro seal and cherry max rivets tell you what after you do a bunch of these you can crush coconuts at the county fair with your hands for demonstrations. <sighs> well, I think it shot all the way up. It went up somewhere and came back down. So there's that one. Now we wipe off the extra pro seal. We got one more to do on the bottom. Make sure it's been drilled properly, and it has. Now we wet the last rivet. We just want to put enough on that we get a good seal in there. Then we'll come back with some acetone and wipe all the extra off. I heard that one came up. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Well, it's not a fun job. It is a messy one. But by doing it right now, we won't have to redo this one. So now we're going to get some rags. We're going to clean up all the solvent, the extra. And then we're going to let it cure for 24 hours. And then we'll mount it back on the airplane. And that will complete this repair. It will need a 337 because we did do a major repair to a control surface. So, hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.